Hey, Lorenzo. Got a surprise for you, buddy. Hey guys, it's Dar. The video you're about to watch is about parents accepting their children for who they are. I hope you love this message and make sure to stay till the end for shout outs and giveaway winners. <clears throat> Here's my football from my last game. I wasn't able to go all the way, but luckily I have you to finish what I wasn't able to. Oh, thanks, Dad. And sweetie, I didn't forget about you. Live Glam? Thanks, Dad. This is my favorite brand. What's the matter, buddy? You don't like your football? I just... Do you think I can get a makeup kit, too? What did you just say? Nothing. I was just thinking. No, you weren't just thinking that. You're my son, and my son doesn't wear makeup. You got it? Yes, sir. I got it. Good. There's my boy. Hey, whoa, whoa. I want to hear about your first day of football practice. Can we talk later, Dad? I just want to go to my room right now. Wait. Why are you wearing a hoodie? No, Dad, don't. What in the world? Explain yourself! I didn't go to football practice. I don't like football. I really like makeup, Dad. It's my passion and I'm really good at it. Makeup? Men don't wear makeup! What kind of man did I raise you to be? But... But nothing! If you're not gonna obey your father, then you can just leave this house right now! But this is who I am, Dad. Then you're no son of mine! The son moved out and started practicing makeup. He started getting really good at it. The father was stubborn and just refused to talk to his son. The son got so good at makeup that he became very successful and well known. The father started missing his son and just couldn't get him out of his head. The son became so popular he started gaining millions of followers. Three years had passed and the father still hadn't spoken to his boy. Hey dad, is this everything? It's my first day of college, I don't want to miss orientation. Yes, yeah, sweetheart, it's all there. Have you talked to Lorenzo lately? I haven't spoken to him since he left the house that day. Well, maybe it's time. I can't talk to him. I wanted him to be a successful person. But I feel like I failed him as a father. Dad, Lorenzo can't spend his life trying to live your dream. Have you seen his YouTube channel? YouTube channel? Do you see all these views? I don't know. It looks like to me he's pretty successful. Just with a makeup brush instead of a football. My son did this? Yeah. Anyways, he has a new studio downtown. Maybe you should go visit. I'll text you the address. I gotta go, Dad. I love you. Me too. Lorenzo. Dad. So, um, this is what you've been up to. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass you. No. I'm sorry. I was wrong. You don't ever have to try and be someone that you're not. So, whether you want to play with a football or makeup, I will always love you, son. Hello everyone, I'm Lorenzo Live and today I have a very special guest joining me. Let me introduce you <clears throat> to my father. Hi, 
I am the proudest father in the world. And I am happy to call Lorenzo, I mean, Lorenzo Live, my son. There's no doubt that parents have a lot of life experience and often know what's best for their children, but that can also work against them. Parents can become so blinded by their love and quick to assume they know what's best for their children, rather than asking their children, what do they think is best for them? This can result in parents pressuring their kids to go to a certain school, choose a certain career path, or live a certain life that's on their terms. But that's not really what love is. Love is supporting someone as they are, supporting them in their passions and giving them the freedom and space to make their own decisions. And even when they make mistakes, love is still supporting them while they learn and grow. Because at the end of the day, it's better to try and fail at one's dreams than to never have tried at all. Hey YouTube fam, I hope you loved that video. Now it's time for some shout outs and giveaway winners. On Instagram, we've got mermaid underscore Hernandez who put the 100 symbol. On Facebook, we've got Roya Baby Roya Baby who shared one of my last videos. And on YouTube, we've got Surfer Dude who said, the best and amazing video I've come across lately. Thank you for this. Each of you just won $100 if you want to enter my giveaways, all the details are pinned at the top of my comments. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.